the Sprouts Instacart order just to stock up on my protein drinks. These are my favorite ones, the 32 gram Owen. It doesn't taste any different than the 20 gram, just has more, but I've been putting it in coffee too, kind of as creamer. Got my favorite cottage cheese, a good culture one, pre hard boiled eggs. And then this coffee was actually so good. It's like strong, but not bitter at all. It's the Emma Chamberlain coffee brand. So I wanted to try her other one too. I think this one is, yeah, it says espresso blend, but I'm just gonna do pour over with it and try it. Also love the packaging, very cute. Wow, I'm really repping the cities right now. Comment down below, New York or Chicago. I'd have to say I'm team Chicago. I just made a little iced coffee. I'm about to go on a walk in a little bit once I finish this coffee, but I figured we'd just like catch up a little bit. But I did want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ritual. I've been taking Ritual for a while now. I take the Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus and the Symbiotic Plus. I take both of these as just my like daily vitamins. The thing that really was a game changer for me with Ritual is that you can take it any time of day. You can take it on an empty stomach and they're shelf stable. So you don't have to refer them at all which I feel like just makes it so much easier if something has too many you know gotta take with food gotta do this gotta do that I'm just like I'm out if you're someone who normally can't stick to like a vitamin schedule routine I feel like these will be perfect for you because you just pop it when you think about it another big difference is ritual smells and tastes like mint so there's no gross vitamin you taste if you normally like can't do the vitamin taste or they're too big or whatever these are just like smooth coated capsules that go down really easy and literally just smell like mint it's also subscription based so you'll never run out you can just have it auto delivered to your house each month or you can pause skip a month if you need to the symbiotic plus is a three-in-one so it's a prebiotic probiotic and postbiotic <laughs> i feel like you don't even just think about words too much what i just do that was right. Postbiotic, yeah. All in one capsule. These help support a balanced gut and digestive health, but this one's formulated with two of the most clinically studied strains of probiotics. Ritual is transparent, so you can go on their website and see exactly where the ingredients are sourced from. It can help relieve mild bloating, diarrhea, gas, just, you know, all the fun stomach issues. <laughs> So do you have a code where you can get 30% off your first month? It's the code TaylorWin30. I'll have them linked down below in the description box. I'm also pinning a comment with the description box. So you can find it there too. All right, so I'm here in San Diego, back at my parents' house. I'm actually here for a couple months. So I'm excited to like just reset, unpack, stay somewhere for a little bit longer, obviously see my parents, but they're actually leaving for a few weeks. So the original plan was like, I was coming here to watch Parker, their dog, the cutest dog ever on planet earth. They're going to Europe for a few weeks. So I'm watching the dog for them. Then we'll be staying a little bit longer after as well and just like hanging out here. So let me know what kind of San Diego videos you wanna see while I'm here. But I do wanna do a full reset, unpack, organize stuff. Like I just wanna get my life together. If you're new here, by the way, I travel full time. I've been traveling for the last couple of years but I have boxes in Seattle in storage and then I have some stuff here at my parents house too which is where I like kind of swap out clothing depending on where I'm going and stuff so I have like winter clothes here some summer clothes random you know some makeup and stuff so whenever I'm back I like to do like I go through everything declutter donate stuff get rid of stuff reorganize everything and just make it so it's like very clean and organized for the next couple months while I'm here. Hold on, my legs are falling asleep. Almost just spilled that coffee on my computer. Mini book chat. So I finished A Court of, I always have to think of it's Roses and Thorns. A Court of Thorns and Roses, book number one in the series. If you haven't heard of this, it's like one of the most hyped up, like popular fantasy series, I feel like, at least from what you hear on social media. I'm not big on fantasy at all. I mean, at all. <laughs> this is literally like, I think the first fantasy book besides like Harry Potter and stuff that I've read. Wait, wait, rewind. Never mind. Fourth Wing was, which I just read. <laughs> Clearly need to drink more of this. I think if you want to dabble into fantasy a little bit and just like try it out, I loved Fourth Wing. I'm like so excited for the second book to come out. That one, five out of five. And I think it's a good one to start with fantasy because it's not like so far out there like A Court of Thorns and Roses is. Oh my God. Can I just say Akatar? I'm just gonna say Akatar. Everyone says you have to kind of like get through book one because it's a lot of like just set in the scene and build up and then apparently book two is where it gets like amazing but it took me i want to say about 60 percent through the book until i was like oh this is okay this is getting a little more interesting up until 60 percent i didn't not like it i just was kind of like 
I don't know, a little eye rolly for me. Now that I've finished it and I rated it, I think I rated it a 4.6. I finished it and I was like, I'm gonna read some other things in between and then go on to book number two and wait for it because I had requested it on Libby, which is like the book, free book rental library thing. So a couple days went by and I actually ended up buying the Kindle book, which I never do <laughs> for the second book. I bought the Kindle. So I feel like that says something because I, I am excited to read the second book to the point that I didn't want to wait for Libby. I think if I started with Akatar, I would have just like entirely checked out and quit the entire fantasy genre in general. Now I'm kind of into it. Like it is growing on me and a lot of you said to check out I think it's called Throne of Glass. Right now I'm reading Adelaide. I'm about halfway through right now so I am going to finish that before I start book number two. Trigger warning for a lot of things. So far it is good and I'm enjoying it. And then I'm also reading The Gifts of Imperfection, Brene Brown, just on audio. It's actually a really short audiobook. It's five hours so that's always nice if you're like walking or doing things. I'll put it on and then you can like easily get through a book. I'm gonna go on a walk. Got these two new body washes. This one smells more like pineapple to me, the tree cut cocoa colada. I haven't tried this yet, but also my nose is not 100% right now. So <laughs> maybe it smells like coconut, unsure. I love the packaging of this though. I mean, both of these, this one is so cute. Like sitting in the shower, this smells amazing. I was thinking this was also a Brazil nut, but my dad actually got these for me from Trader Joe's when they came out because they were like selling out. I think this one was the one that was selling out because I've still seen these at Trader Joe's. So I'm excited to try the candle too. The candle doesn't smell as good. shaving, scrubbing off self tanner, washing the hair, did it all. Because I ended up buying this guy during the Sephora sale. It's the Shark Flex Style. This is basically supposed to be like the dupe for the Dyson. It's pretty much half price. I got the black one with rose gold, it's so pretty. I have different videos on the Dyson. I'll link a few down below if you wanna know like kind of my thoughts and trying it and stuff. But if this is just as good or better for half the price, I wanted to try it out for you guys and see what I think. By the way, not sponsored by Shark, I bought this myself, but here's the case that it comes in. I love that it zips. So my hair's been drying in a bun for probably like an hour. I didn't want it to get too dry because with these type of tools, you do normally want your hair to be like a little bit damp. After I showered, I put in the Subaki hair milk. This is one of my favorite hair products of all time. Haven't talked about this in a while, but I repurchased it on YesStyle and it's so good. It just makes your hair super soft. And then I'm gonna use the Eva NYC 10 in 1 as my like heat protectant. This smells amazing, makes your hair so shiny and also helps with like frizz and stuff. Here's the thing, with the Dyson, I still haven't found a way that holds. I'm on the hunt for like a super holding hair mousse and I actually ordered this one, just like a holding hair mousse, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna hairspray the crap out of my hair. And I've repurchased my scrunchie because I left this at my friend's house in Seattle. These were on like massive sale on Amazon when I went to buy them, so hopefully when this video goes up, they're still on sale, but these are like giant, just like silk scrunchies. If you're wearing it in a bun, or like high bun or low, it just like makes your hair look like it has more volume and it kind of like fills in that gap right there. It's been so nice having a lot of products back in my life because I'm storing like a lot of stuff here. So it's just like exciting to, to shower and get to try some new stuff. I did try the glass water today, the Garnier glass water. I'm gonna have to keep trying it. I feel like off the bat, I liked the L'Oreal one better. Wonder water, that stuff smells so good. By the way, I'm a bit sick, so sorry if I sound snuffly. I don't know why I did a full <laughs> face of makeup because I've been blowing my nose every two seconds, but also used a powder foundation. Dumb choice. This is what I have on with the Makeup Forever powder foundation. I've kind of mixed these two shades. I mixed one N06 and two N26. I'm like in between because I scrubbed off most of my tanner. There's a little bit left over, but I felt like just the lightest one looked a little bit too light. This is beautiful. Look at the inside of this. This is not going to be like 
you know, a full review or anything. I'm literally just playing around and trying this for the first time. I feel like I have a general idea of how these work now just from using and testing the Dyson. This one though, you can actually angle, which is very cool. You don't have to like be holding your arm like this. This is a really beautiful tool, I must say. Like love this design, especially with the rose gold. I'm gonna hit the roots. Just realized I don't have a spray bottle. When you're doing this, it's good to have a spray bottle for this kind of tool because you do have to kind of like, like you don't want to get too, too dry in between. If you're considering buying like either the Dyson or the Sharp, just this kind of tool, I feel like one thing to really think about is do you normally blow dry your hair? Because if you're someone like me who normally, I like to just sleep on my hair wet. For me, I just like plop it up on my pillow, it's fine. I wake up and my hair is like mostly dry and then I can just style it. So I feel like it's faster, it's less frizzy. I don't have to deal with blow drying it and putting more heat on it. So for me, that works really well. So if you're someone who normally styles your hair like that, Honestly, I don't feel like either of these would be worth the money unless you're really trying to get that like blowout look or you want to try something new. But I always like the end results of it, at least the Dyson. And for me, it just ends up taking way more time than my normal way to style it because then you're washing your hair the same morning, basically, that then you're styling it. So just something to consider if you're thinking about either of those tools. A couple different things I'm already liking <laughs> more than the Dyson. A, this comes with a diffuser, amazing love that this round brush looks very similar except it is still like the boar bristles but it looks more similar to the hot tools brush which i love which that usually works really well on my hair which is different than the dyson and then it also comes with just like a flat version of that like, i'm not gonna be using this today because i do want to do the curls this is more just like for that straight blowout look where you just want like some curled ends and then it only comes with one size barrel so there's not a bigger or smaller it's just this looks like probably one inch so you want to go away from your face so just the arrows look at the arrows in the mirror and go that direction so this is for this side of your face and it also says on here l which is nice so left side 10 seconds on hot 10 seconds on cool shot okay basically like dyson Look at how crazy the difference in length is. You wanna let these set as long as possible. I've been hairspraying the crap out of them. I'm gonna re-dampen this side just with my hands, just like put a little bit more water. And this happens with the Dyson too, but I feel like it's just hard to get like smooth roots. With the Dyson, I usually go back over it with one of their smoothing brushes. Just like smooth down the frizz because it's hard to get the roots. This one to me, for some reason, the way it's gripping the hair feels easier to work with than the Dyson and if you're having issues getting tension on these kind of tools you just want to like go like this a few times and then it'll really tense up and then you can continue wrapping it but this feels very easy but if you're like sleeping on it don't even touch it just sleep on it like this don't comb through because it's gonna fall a lot i'm gonna have to look up how the heck to use the turn thing like when to use it Makes sense for a blow dryer, but I don't know the angle you'd have to hold it to do the curls that way. I'm sweating. That's the other thing with these tools. It gets so freaking hot. I've done the initial round. A couple things I noticed, if you look at the back, there's definitely some bumpiness right here where I need to like do something, either smooth it with the round brush or like try and add a curl or something up here. I think I'm gonna try this one and just smooth over that part right there. I have the bangs just pinned, so I should take these off, huh? I am full sweating.
So I'm gonna let these chill here. I've thoroughly hairsprayed and I'm just gonna let it sit. I feel like either some pieces are like massively falling or I just missed this. Keep finding more pieces. Okay, that looks like I did do it, but it's like really falling. I mean, now that this side's like falling a lot, it's looking, it's looking nice. I mean, I love the volume that these tools give. That's the one thing is that the volume is like unmatched and it does look like you just got your hair done once it falls and you kind of like floof it. So we will see. I feel like that was definitely easier than the Dyson for some reason. This is the nude lip combo I have on right now. It's the Lawless Lip Liner in the shade Nude Honey, which this is a really pretty like brownie nude color. Very pretty tone. It's not too too brown. And then I mixed these two makeup by Mario because I first put on this brown one, soft nude, and it was just a little bit too brown, like kind of odd on my skin tone. And then I mixed in a little bit of hot pink over top just to make it a little more like rosy looking. Here's after probably about an hour and a half. And you can see there's a lot of pieces that have a lot of pieces that have fully fallen that are just like straight that weren't straight that just won't hold for one reason or another what i'm doing right now one of the things i've been meaning to do is in my 2023 planner my plan was for the year to keep track of the books i've read with my ratings here and as you can see i stopped during march got a few months to catch up on here the way i've been keeping track of them is on my instagram highlights i just like to see how many i read each month and have like a visual of the whole year and that way at the end of the year i can look back see my ratings i'm gonna get to transfer in those so a picture of oh look at him like one of my favorite photos of parker best pens ever and then i have my sharpies i really should have broken this down by year like my book highlight i'm gonna do that for the next year because like I have ones from 2021 on here. I just realized, um, where's April? <laughs> Did I not read at all in April? Maybe I didn't, because I do remember there was a month where I, like a very low reading month, so maybe that was it, because I just checked the highlights and I didn't have anything for April. But it looks like I'm averaging about four books a month, which I feel like is pretty good. I just like seeing it like visually like this. I think it's really satisfying. <laughs> I've got some organizing, decluttering to do. I have this suitcase, which this one was labeled summer clothes. So I'm hoping I labeled that right because that's what I want. And then there's this suitcase, which is kind of like a mix of winter and summer stuff that I had in Spain and in New York. And then I'm going to reorganize, put stuff in that suitcase. I have, I think, one more suitcase here with clothes, but I think it's all like winter clothes. I'm in the mood for like a big declutter and just donating a bunch of clothes and then this stuff I just washed and it will also go through and then I just want to like organize it. it looks like there's a lot of storage in here but actually there's not because I have like camera stuff in one thing this is all closed so I need to go through this too I just can't obviously see anything so we've got a big project and actually there's more hold on the cone boy is back sadly I did just order him another cone to try I've tried so many of the soft cones and he keeps being able to reach his leg whenever I show Parker people like ask why he still has a cone on he keeps opening this like leg wound and we've tried everything to get it to heal and it'll heal and then he'll like ding his leg and then reopen it I hate that he has this like plastic one on though because I just feel like that would be so uncomfortable so I've tried so many different cones. Every time I come, I like order him a new cone. So one is coming that we're gonna try. That's softer and it looks like it's gonna be long enough. I love you. I've got shoes in there. What is that? I think this is even more of my clothes. Yeah, I just have a lot, a lot to get through. Also gonna make a pile of stuff that I wanna like retry on and make sure I still wanna keep. Oh, my Aritzia leggings. Forgot about these shorts. Love those. This one is totally empty. My dad is actually gonna use this on their Europe trip. This is the medium size base, and I think this is like the perfect size if you're planning on checking a bag, but you don't want something like too big. That black one is my 
large base and that one is very very big but that's some winter clothes that i'm gonna vacuum up and or compress out in the bags i'll link my compression bags down below i always use these are things i need to try on actually a lot of these i'm gonna try on and just double check that's all laundry and then this one's also empty but i'm gonna be putting you know the clothes i'm not gonna be wearing right now in here here's the pile the donation pile pretty good gonna start going through this giant bag packing these so i'm actually taking everything out of the yellow thing because now i won't need that i can fit it in these other two suitcases the big black one and this one but i just label it so i know like kind of what's in here when i go to dig it out i just filmed a reel on this i didn't come up with this idea but i feel like this is probably the most genius travel hack i've seen so far that like actually is legit so what you do is you take one of these shoe organizers i got this one off amazon i have the hooks downstairs but you just roll up your clothes it fits 24 there's 24 slots but in some of them i actually fit two like there's if you have smaller kind of crop top things or tank tops that are thinner you can fit two in one so really i think i fit like 30 items in here jean shorts full leggings dress a few dresses those are all dresses and basically you just put them in there roll it up and then it fits on depending on your suitcase like half of the one half if you have a big suitcase or in like the base medium one it basically takes up one half of the suitcase but this is like you know way more usually than this would be like a few week trip if you were going on that you could also fit other items in the slots too and roll it up just do like actual shoes if you didn't need this much clothes for one trip but this is going to be a game changer for me because now when i get somewhere like to an airbnb i can just un you just unroll it and then hook it and hang it in the closet and then everything's ready to go you can see what you have and i'm actually just gonna hang this up right now like in my room somewhere so i can see what i have because i just i like seeing things like this visually instead of having it all like thrown into a drawer and then i don't actually end up wearing the cute clothes truly the coolest thing ever so like when you get to your airbnb a hotel you just hang it up like that and you can see everything incredible Okay, so here's the next day. It's actually like the next nighttime. <laughs> so it's been over 24 hours at this point. It's like 7 p.m. And honestly, better hold than the Dyson, which kind of surprised me because I felt like it initially fell a lot and still in the back, it's like totally flat for some reason. I don't know why the, maybe I just didn't hairspray at the back as well. It actually held, I think, better than the Dyson. I like how it kind of fell too. I have a little book haul. I read 99.9% .9 of my books on Kindle for free using Libby. It's just like the library rental app. A couple that I bought the physical of because they only had the physical. I'm pretty sure they only have the physical of this one. A Thousand Boy Kisses. I've heard really good things about this one. I love the feel of this cover. It's like that, what is this even? It's like the shiny material. It feels like a nice physical book, you know? So we'll see. Let me know what you thought if you read this. This is Nick Vial's book. I listened to his podcast. He gives actually incredible advice that I've taken and has worked. <laughs> this isn't just for dating. It's for all types of relationships. And apparently it's actually really good. So I'm excited to read that too. Hit it. All right, get ready to go out and party in the wild town of blank. <laughs> New outfit, mm. skis, boots, poles. Wow. Thumbs up will be appreciated. Okay, Where'd you bye. get it? Viore. The pants <laughs> by Viore. T-shirt by H&M. This by Somewhere Online. Shoes by... Uh... Those are good shoes. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye is time the one i'm most excited about this week is this one it's like the strawberry remember those like strawberry ice cream bar things it's supposed to be like that kind of flavor this one i think is lemon muffin maybe or lemon cupcake peanut butter cookies and cream and just a chocolate chip because the m m one didn't sound good to me and then also shark week didn't sound great either i'm really hoping this strawberry is good cheers by the way disclaimer my taste isn't 100 percent right now it feels a little drier than normal it's not like they're normal super moist on the inside it's like kind of dry i thought there was supposed to be a strawberry core on this one i guess there is it's just like super small like there's a little bit unimpressed by that one 
That one's actually really good. And I'm not usually into lemon that much. Peanut butter, cookies and cream. I don't know, not that impressed this week at all. That one's actually my least favorite just cause I think it was super dry. I also didn't have like, I couldn't taste any strawberry. I think the lemon one's my favorite. Not my favorite crumble week. <laughs> I'm coming at you from this weird angle because I have, uh, have a little something to show you. So I used this tanner, tried it for the first time. Don't know my thoughts yet. I'll update as I continue to use it. But the thing is, it's a spray, like an airbrush tan. And so with these, you're supposed to like spray it on like this, like far away. I actually just like go like that and then like blend it in with a mitt because I feel like that's way easier. But because this mist was so fine, apparently I got it all over the floor and I didn't even realize, like I couldn't feel it on my feet. So um, here's a little something for you. <laughs> yeah, that is self tanner full self tanner looking good so my mom gave me some uh, foot tools so i'm gonna attempt to literally grate off the bottom of my feet right now wish me luck so this is one of my favorite etsy jewelry brands and michelle the owner sent over some beautiful pieces i don't even know honestly like which one is my favorite here because look at how freaking sparkly this chain is and then there's a little butterfly one, which I love with like the paper clip band. What's happening with the focus? This one, this black one. Oh my God, I cannot wait to wear these. I'll have the exact ones linked down below on Etsy. Beautiful chain. They're just so like sparkly and they're good quality. I've had her necklaces, I wanna say for a couple years now and they're still gold. I mean, I'm not wearing, I haven't worn those ones in the shower cause they're not my like everyday ones. They haven't turned colors at all in the last couple years and they're plated. And this one has a really nice like weight to it. It feels like really good quality. Super pretty like pearled tea initial one. Cannot wait to wear these. You'll definitely be seeing me wearing these in videos. It is like a little bit gloomy out and I could not wait to put on a sweatshirt. I feel like I'm just now feeling like, okay, I'm kinda, I'm ready for fall, ready for the boots, ready for the sweatshirts. You know what I mean? This is a just like a face washing headband here. Actually, I take that back. I feel like I need like a few more layout beach day kind of things, like full summer days, and then I'll be ready for fall. This I ordered, came in. I'm gonna try this next time I wash my hair. It's a holding mousse from Schwarzkopf. So this is the one I was talking about. I'm gonna try this with the, what's it called? Shark Flex Style. And then I'm also gonna try the Amica one. I ordered like a travel size of the Amica mousse because on Instagram, a lot of you said that mousse was like amazing for styling and holding. It's not bad. Obviously it's not as like tight curls anymore, but it's to the point where I'm like, it's not bad. This is, I think the, f what is it? Fourth day. And I haven't touched it up at all. Actually, I literally haven't touched my hair. I haven't been feeling great. So in between filming and doing my hair thing, I've been just in bed, lots of migrating. So I haven't styled my hair, but also even if I was going out, I don't really feel like there's a lot to touch up. Like it looks wearable. So I'm, now I'm really curious how something like this is gonna help it hold even more, hopefully. And I also want to try something for the back. Like I need to do something different for the back. But anyways, that's a little shark update for you. But I'm going to end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like there was a lot of stuff in here. I feel good. I feel fresh. Got things organized. Clothes put away. All of it. I do still have, I think in the next vlog I'll go through it. But I do still have a couple of makeup boxes that I want to like. I want to take things out. I need to do the makeup part of it so I can see what I have to like work with each day and film and stuff and test out. So we'll have ritual link down below and you can get 30% off your first month with the code TaylorWin30. But that is linked down below and in the pinned comment. And my nails by the way, it's a random brand. It is gel. I do gel over acrylic powder. No tips on right now, just acrylic powder. But it was like a random gel brand so I looked at the bottle and I didn't even see a name. It was like a random brand, random number. I think it was like called Bio Seaweed Gel, but everything else is down below. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.